joined by senior defensive end Taylor Thompson. Put this in perspective. It's your uh, fourth season here. You get the win on the road, nationally ranked, get the skillet. Put this in perspective. I mean, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say right now. Uh, especially being a senior, you know, playing TCU. I think we played them four years in a row, haven't we? And, and to come out here and beat them at home on their field, uh, a ranked opponent, just unbelievable. Um, it got chippy in the second quarter there. There was uh, a lot of pushing and shoving. There was that one scrap in the end zone. Did that feel like they were trying to intimidate you, like trying to say we're ranked, it's our home field? I just feel like the emotions were getting uh, the best of them. You know, they were they were probably getting a little angered that they were down, and I think maybe they were just getting uh, mad at us because we were beating them. As one of the uh, elder statesmen here, did you say anything to your under to the younger teammates about how to respond to that, how to handle that extra excitement? You just got to keep them in line. You, you got to keep your composure out there on the field, and uh, you can't let them get to you like that. And you got to keep playing what you do. What kind of things did you talk about at halftime? You had the lead, but it, was, it had gone from 17-0 to 17-10, I think. Uh, what did the coaches talk about at halftime in terms of adjustments uh, for the second half? Just keep playing hard uh, and keep playing what we do because just like the, when they scored, it was just a blown responsibility on our defense. So the biggest thing was just to keep doing what we do as a defense and play our responsibility. Talk about that no huddle that they went to for the last quarter or so of regulation. Um, what did that do, other than the fact that you guys couldn't rotate fresh legs in, uh, what was the biggest challenge facing that? Uh, just to find a way to push through, you know, we're all exhausted, we're all going full speed every play, and uh, whenever they have a long drive like that, you just got to keep pushing through it and uh, know that if you stop, you can get off the field. When's the last time you had a win that felt this good? Never. High school? So, uh, I would probably say the Hawaii Bowl, if anything, but... Does this feel bigger than the Hawaii Bowl? It's, it's hard to say because it's a different type of win, but this is a pretty big win for us. What's the mindset of the defense like when you go into overtime and TCU has come back, they've been behind all day long, they caught up and tied it right there at the end. What's the mindset of the, of the defense going into that extra session? Just to go out there and give every play that you have your all and sell out and make sure you take care of your responsibility. That's pretty much all you can do. And get, just leave everything on the field. And then what was your reaction or your feeling when you saw Jeremy Johnson catch that ball in the end zone? Oh man, it was amazing. Man. I was I was so happy for our offense that they could do that for us, and I was so happy for our team. And then, can you describe the feeling when you saw that last TCU pass fall incomplete, and the zeros were officially on the clock, and you had a win over a ranked team on the road? Honestly, it didn't hit me at that point. I was still kind of in shock. I was still trying to take everything in. I didn't realize that we had won. You know, I was, I was just kind of speechless. You know, I was stunned. And after a while, you know, I started realizing that we had won the game. Coaches always talk about. We're going to take one day to enjoy this, or after a loss, one day we're going to think about it, and then boom, you move on to the next one. How long are you going to enjoy this one? Probably all next week. It's bye week. I'll enjoy it for a while.